it is hard if you are, you are operating by the flesh. It's the hardest thing to let go because the flesh wants to take control. It's all about control. I've got this, I've got this. And that's where stress comes by you trying to operate, by you trying to take hold of a situation. So live the let go life is both easy and hard. It's easy if you have a revelation of what God is doing already, He's supplying. But it's hard if you don't see that and you are operating by your efforts, your performance, your, your, your works. What do you want people to let go of? What are we talking about here? Let go of your stress, worry, and anxiety. And I think that that's a Christian life. Of all the blessings that the Lord left behind, He says on the night that He was betrayed, peace, I live with you. Mm -hmm. My peace, I bequeath unto you. That peace that you saw me operating in when I was asleep in the boat in the midst of the storm, that peace, I live with you. And, but the amazing thing is that we would understand that he's speaking to his fellow Jews. So he's speaking in Hebrew, mm -hmm. Aramaic. He'd probably say, Shalom, mm -hmm. I live with you. And Shalom is not just peace of mind. Shalom is health, welfare, the health you saw me operating in for three and a half years, you never saw me sick. Mm -hmm. That Shalom, that soundness, mental soundness, that, that wholeness, I live with you. I bequeath to you. So if that is true, then pray tell me how come we have not received it, you know, if you bequeath it to us. So the only criteria in that verse, peace I live with you, not as the world gives. The world gives a peace that, that it depends on happenings that happen to happen the way you want it to happen. But he gives us a peace from within and it controls our outside. So back to this again, if it's something that he left behind, how come we don't see it manifest in our lives? The only criteria, the only imperative there is Peace I live with you, let not your heart be troubled. Wow. Neither let it be afraid. So let go is to let go of that trouble, that stress, that worry, the anxiety. So when we let go of that, we let not our heart be troubled. And you can't let go for him, he can't let go for you. Right. I can't let go for you, you can't let go for me. We have to let not ourselves. So the only thing he tells us to guard is our heart. We're always busy trying to guard our children's health, our children's welfare, you know, our business things, our, our marriage. But God is saying, you don't have got all that. You got your heart. Let yeah. not your heart be troubled, yeah. and I'll got everything outside. Wow. All right. We're, so you want us to let go of stress. You want us to let go of... You want of, us to. Yeah. You, you, right. But you wrote the book, so you yeah. want us to do it too. You care about us, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. And so, so how do we do that? How do we let go? Because that seems like a, look, there isn't anybody viewing this broadcast that doesn't want to let go of stress and yes. worry and this. How do you do it? Well, it comes through a revelation, a vision, uh, if you would, that the, you need to receive from the Lord. The picture that provision, supply is always coming your way. And that's what the Lord uh, endeavors to tell us when he gave us the analogy of I am the vine, you are the branches. The whole picture is a picture of supply because the branch is the, fruit producing part of the vine, but it is one with the vine. Mm -hmm. So he's telling us, you go out there as a branch, but I am your vine life. The same life, the same sap, the same supply, the same grace, the same uh, wholeness and, and uh, power that you see me operate in. Wherever you go, know this, abide in me. And abide is something that we have turned into a work. Abide means rest mm -hmm. and the supply will flow. You know, when you're faced with a stressful situation, Know this, that the vine, the Lord Jesus is supplying you with peace, peace. When you have to make a tough decision or you need wisdom in certain area, He supplies you with the wisdom and discernment mm. for that situation. So you must always be supply conscious. So it's a revelation. It is hard if you are, you are operating by the flesh. It's the hardest thing to let go because the flesh wants to take control. It's all about control. I've got this, I've got this. Mm. And that's where stress comes by you trying to operate by you trying to take hold of a situation. So live the let go life is both easy and hard. It's easy if you have a revelation of what God is doing already, He's supplying. But it's hard if you don't see that and you are operating by your efforts, your performance, your, your, your works. Where did you get the revelation for this? A book is, are they hard for you to write or are they easy for you to write? Well, it's easy uh, because it's all a compilation of all my sermons down through the years. And I would, I would say that probably 15 years 
uh, to 20 years of my life experience uh, uh, where I face many of the situations. Many people will read the chapters and they don't realize years yeah. are involved in the chapters. Got it. Like, you know, I'll just say in a, in a short time like this, uh, God said this to me and God said that to me, but it's not like God said all these statements back to back. Well, for I'm example, this book. Yeah, yeah. He, he would say like, grace flows in the worry-free areas of your life. Yeah, and then he would tell me this, have you noticed that the areas you are worried about, there seems to be no grace, it's mm. hard, mm. it is plodding along, you know, but those areas you don't worry about, for some reason you're not, you're not worried about those areas, mm. right? And it seems supply is there, grace is there. So I begin to realize and I observe the people in our church and people that I minister to, the areas they're worried about, it seems like grace cannot flow in that area. Give an example. Well, um, I've never been worried about finances. You know, I, I come from a poor family, and uh, it's not like uh, you know we are we are wealthy and uh, I'm 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 wealth conscious. And, you know, but uh, I grew up with poverty. Okay, but um, why is it that we are able to build a four hundred million dollar building? You know, where we meet now for our church, called the Star Performing Arts Center, which is a arts and cultural and it's center. It's a award winning, yeah, it's amazing. you know. But uh, we built it in five years and only had four Miracle Seed Sundays. And I say this to the glory of God. It's not about Joseph Prince. It's not about uh, what we can do. But really, um, I really lost no sleep over the building. Mm -hmm. It's not fully paid, you know. I just know that God will supply. I'm not worried about it. Now, where I'm worried about are my kids. Mm -hmm. For some reason, they are, you know, something happens, uh, Jessica gets into a relationship, I'm concerned about who is the guy, you know. <laughs> you want to uh, choke uh, it off. Know, or... yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, Justin comes down with some, some condition, <laughs> he's throwing up, I'm, I'm worried about it, and Wendy is the cool one, you know, Wendy mm -hmm. So, uh, the Lord told me years ago when Jessica came along as a baby, uh, she was like coming down with just normal, you know, those infant sickness and, and, and infections. But I'll be very worried. And the more worried I was, it seems like the more she fell sick. Mm. And the Lord said this to me one day, son, it's like you have a big button over your head that the devil can push, or over Jessica's head that the devil can push. Every time he pushes that button, you know, in part like uh, lying symptoms, you get worried. Mm. Okay, it affects your performance for your preaching for that Sunday, your relationship with your wife, because you're all out of sorts, mm. you know. And the devil, actually what you're doing the Lord says is that you are actually giving the devil, all right, uh, the ammunition to put this on your child. So the greatest thing you can do for Jessica, if you love her, let her go. Don't worry over her, all right? And when I did that, boy, the supply flowed. She got stronger, she got uh, healthier, and she's a very healthy girl. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. Without you, we couldn't do it. God bless you.